ating channel, ang topic natin ngayon ay integral of powers of tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Previously, ang topic natin ay integral of powers of sine and cosine. Um, there are three cases under that. Ngayon naman ay sa integral of powers of tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant, there are six cases under dito. So, before we proceed to case 1, uh, i-recall muna natin yung mga kailangan nating formula sa integral calculus, sa differential calculus, as well as dun sa, tri dun sa mga trigonometric identities na kailangan natin para mag-evaluate ng cases sa integrals of powers of time, etc. So, dito muna tayo sa mga integrals, okay? So, integral of tangent u du, we can use either long second u plus c or negative ln cosine u plus c. So, tandaan nyo na lang na kapag cosine yung ginamit nyo, ang sine is negative. Okay? And then for second u, integral of second u du, that is ln, second q plus tangent q plus c. Okay? Integral of second squared u du is tangent u plus c and integral of second q tangent u du is second q plus c. Remember na kailangan natin i-verify muna if yung u ng mga trigonometric functions natin ay may derivative. Okay? Doon sa ating mga formula or given equation. Differential equation. Kasi kapag hindi siya kompleto, may missing na uh, coefficient, kailangan natin mag-introduce and then mag-multiply tayo ng reciprocal outside the integral sign. So, ito, itong integral of tangent second uh, uh, functions may equivalent siya sa cotangent and cosecant. So, halos parehas lang. No? Integral of tangent q, integral of cotangent q. So, dito naman si integral of cotangent q is that is line ln. I mean, ln sine u plus c. Integral of cosecant u du is ln cosecant u minus cotangent u plus c. So, halos parehas ang form, no? Hindi na kayong malilito dyan. Integral of cosecant squared u du is negative cotangent u plus c. Integral of cosecant u cotangent u du is negative cosecant u plus c. So, kung mapapansin nyo kapag letter c, yung start nung sagot kapag nag-integrate tayo, sila yung may mga negative. Ayan negative sila. And then, um, kailangan natin i-recall din yung derivative of tangent, cotangent, and second. So, derivative of tangent is second squared u du. Derivative of cotangent, of course, cosecant squared but negative. And then, derivative of second u is second u tangent u du. Okay? And, ano yung mga kailangan natin trigonometric identities? Itong mga dalawang yan. So, kung alam nyo na yung dalawang yan, hindi na kayo mawawala for the identities for tangent squared and cotangent squared u. Identity for second squared u is tangent squared u plus 1. And identity for cosecant squared u is cotangent squared plus 1. Kung kukunin natin siya in terms of tangent squared u, so ang gagawin lang, i -re lang to, and then ito ililipat sa kabila, mamamayna siya. Second squared u minus 1. Ayan na. And then, same ang mangyayari kapag kukunin natin yung cotangent squared u, nilipat yung 1 sa kabila. So, that would be cosecant squared u minus 1. Take note, this trigonometric identities are uh, included dun sa trigon nyo. If I am not mistaken, kung BP sa basic math subject or general math or if not, kapag STEM kayo o so high school kayo, these are common trigonometric identities na kailang kapisatuhin. Okay, so proceed na tayo sa case 1. Now we proceed to case 1. So yung case 1 natin is integral of tangent and cotangent raised to n u du, where n is a positive integer. So it's either even or odd integer siya. It doesn't matter but um, basta kapag simpleng integral of tangent n raised to n u du siya or cotangent raised to n u du, Nag-iisang function ng tangent or cotangent raised to any power, positive, even or odd. Ang gagamitin natin ay yung procedure under case 1. So, anong technique or procedure ang gagamitin natin? All we have to do is to factor out yung isang squared ng function. So, isa-save na natin agad yung, halimbawa, tangent raised to 3 siya, tangent raised to 4. Isave na natin agad yung tangent squared. You or factor out na natin agad yon, And then, 
set aside muna yung remaining uh, factors. And then yung tangent squared u, yun yung papalitan natin ng identities. No? Kung tangent squared u siya, palitan natin ng second squared u minus 1 and then stand by, lagay mo muna yung remaining factors. Tapos titignan natin, evaluate natin if pwede na natin gamitin diretso yung mga integral techniques, uh, integration formula natin for trigonometric functions. Ganoon din sa cotangent, no? Save na agad, factor out na agad yung cotangent squared u and then palitan ng identity ng cosecant squared u minus 1. So, ang technique, palitan agad ng trigonometric identities. Yung tangent squared o kaya cotangent squared. Um, it is advised na yung mga formula natin kanina, dun sa slide 1 na pinakita ko, pwedeng gawin nyo na siya ng sarili nyong uh, copy. So, kapag nagsusolve ko yung once in a while, pwede nyo i-check kung ano ba yung pwede natin gamitin doon, kung ano ba yung pwede nyo gamitin to evaluate uh, integral sa parts of tangent, cotangent, second, and cosecant. So, try natin tong sample 1. Okay? So, again, mag-isang tangent function, Okay, naka-raise sa either odd or even positive integer. So, this is case 1. Kapag mag-isa, either even or odd ang power niya, so, under case 1 siya, mag-isang tangent. So, papalitan ang rule natin, ang first step natin ay save na natin yung squared. Tama? And then, yung natira, send by lang muna. Ayan. Afterwards, Ito, itong tangent squared, palitan natin ng second squared u minus 1. Isusunod natin yung term, no? Kung tangent squared theta, ang mangyayari magiging second squared theta minus 1. Ayan. Kung yung kanyang angle ay 3 theta, 2 theta, so isusunod mo lang din yun. So magiging, halimbawa, 3 theta, second squared 3 theta. So in this case, theta lang kasi siya kaya ganyan. Uh, anyway, may mga example ako na susunod na uh, hindi lang simpleng uh, theta ang ating angle. And then, copyin mo lang yung natitirang mga var variables. Okay? So, pagkatapos nyan, i-distribute na natin yung ating tangent theta di theta per term. So, distribute mo lang dyan at saka dito. Pati na yung integral sign. So, second squared theta. Okay? Tangent theta, d theta, pati nyo na yung d theta, minus 1. So, tatanggalin ko na lang yung 1. Tapos, 1 times tangent theta, d theta, is tangent theta, d theta. Ayan. Ngayon, evaluate natin per term. No? This is our first term. This is our second term. Alam natin na ang uh, tangent, okay, kasi pipili ka, which is which ang magiging Kasi kung ganyan, may idea ka na na we can use power formula, right? So, the integral of, sige, lalagay tayo dito. The integral of u raised to n du is equal to u n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c for this first term. Pero isipin mo, which is u here? So, pwedeng ang first attempt mo is yung nakaraise sa 2 second. But the derivative of second, the derivative of second is second u. Kasi kung ang ginawa mong u ay second, okay, ang derivative kasi niyan ay second theta, tangent theta, d theta. So, there's no way for us to complete this, no? The second theta, tangent theta. Kasi ang n mo ay 2. So, dapat meron ka pang isang second theta pa, pa partner kay tangent theta, d theta. So, we try the other way around, Okay. Let's see kung ang ating uh, d, okay, kung ang ating u ay tangent theta. Okay, tanggalin ko na ito. Sige, obvious naman na. So, kung ang d natin okay, ay tangent theta, ang u natin ay tangent theta, ang derivative kasi niyan ay second squared theta d theta. So, sakto siya. Arrange lang natin. So, arrange lang natin. Maybe lalagay ko na lang dito. Okay, arrange lang natin ng tangent theta, second squared theta, d theta, minus integral of tangent theta, d theta. Ayan. So, ito, kadugtong niya. Ayan. So, ang first term natin, we will use, ayan, power formula, integral of u, n, du, u, n plus 1 over n plus 1, may plus yan. 
So, nagkataon ang n natin is 1. Ang u natin ay tangent theta. Ang derivative niyan ay kompleto ba? Second squared theta, differentiate theta, d theta. Yan. Wala na tayong idadagdag. So, we can use right away yung ating power formula for the first term. How about the second term? So, titignan mo na naman yung list. If we have an integral of 4 tangent theta. So, integral of tangent theta, we can use either... So, you can, pwede na hindi mo isulat to, pero for discussion purposes, sinusulat ko ulit. We can use either ln second, u, or negative ln of cosine. Okay, may mga plus yan. So, kung negative to, mas maganda gamitin na yung negative para mag-positive siya, diba? Para plus ln cosine u. Pwede, pero pwede pa rin negative ln second, u. Kung anong gusto nyo. Okay. So, our answer for this, tangent uh, theta raised to 1. So, uh, this is u. Our u is tangent theta. So, mangyayari, tangent 1 plus 1. So, tangent squared theta. Wala na tayong dadagdag na co constant man dyan kasi kompleto siya. So, over 2. Kasi u, n plus 1 over n plus 1. So, kaya tangent squared theta over 2. Okay. Plus, okay, bakit plus? Kasi negative, negative. So, kaya plus. Kasi na nga, para walang cut. Negative, negative ln, cosine. Pero pwede yung gamitin yung ano, second. Gusto ko lang gamitin yung ln, cosine kasi magpa-positive siya. Plus C. Or our final answer is 1 half tangent squared theta plus ln, cosine u plus C. So, this is our answer for number, from number, oops, 1. Okay, 